So now let us work around with something called composition tag. So here you can see that I got some objects in the render reason. So let me just go around and turn on the interactive render reason for this one. So I'm going to go over here uh, on this play button and I'm going to say interactive render reason so that this actually pops up. And here you can see that this renders out. So over here you can see that there's the reflection and everything else this is actually going on. But let's tweak around the settings a bit with these objects right here. Let's see what we can do around with these things. So you can see that as I actually move around, you see that a reflection actually pops up right here. You can see the reflection is here. Let's say I do not want the object, but I just want the reflection on over there. So let me just arrange this out. Let me just drag this a bit to the top so that it renders out. And I can see that the reflection is here. Let's say I want the reflection. I do not want the object to be there. I can do that by utilizing something called the composition tag. So on the oil tank right here, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go on to render tags and over here you can see something called compositing. So I'm going to click on compositing right here. Once I actually go over here, the compositing tag is applied. And in the tag, you can see that you can cast shadows with it. You can receive shadows and you can also uh, check on something called scene by camera. So now let me just uncheck this out and then the object disappears, but its reflection, as you can see, is already there. Already there. You can also disable the rays right here. And if you disable the rays out, you can see that the reflection disappears. So if you want the, to enable the reflection, you can enable the reflection just like that. And if I were to turn this off and turn on scene by camera, you can see that this actually pops up. But the scene by rays, the reflection is gone now. So you can actually control these out just like that. So let me move this around onto the side. Let me move this around to the top just like that. And let's see how that looks up now. So you see the reflection is there. So I can turn off the reflection as well. And I can also work around with its shadows as you can see right here. So it's rendering out as you can see right here. So I can disable this out. So I'm going to disable, let's say, seen by camera. So it actually is invisible. You can see the object in it is invisible, but its reflection, as you can see, is still there. So you can create cool effects just like that. Let's do the same with um, the spear right here. Let's see what we can do with this over here as well to create um, to an interesting effect. So I'm going to go over here onto the render tag. I'm going to go into compositing. And over here, you can see that cast shadows is on. So let me just bring this out further, just like this. and you'll be able to see that shadows are being cast. So let me just move this onto the side so it is much more clearer. So I'm just going to move this to the top, onto the side over here, and you'll be able to see that this is actually casting shadows over here. Let me move this to the side a bit, just like this. And I can see that the shadow is being casted. So I can actually disable the cast shadows right here, and then the shadow disappears just like that. So there's no shadow. Uh, right over here. So you can also enable global elimination right here. And you can also force anti-aliasing right here, right now. So you can force it out and you can make it much more smoother when it renders. So you can increase the render render timeout. So this actually forces anti-aliasing on to only this object as well. So you can increase the threshold right here. So it is much more smoother compared to the other objects. It does not work around much with the uh, render region right here. But if I were to render out everything, then it actually shows out. So this is much more smoother in, in comparison to other objects right here. You can see that there's no anti-aliasing over here, but in this object, in the sphere, there's anti-aliasing over there. And you can see how it looks loud. So you can see over here that there's no anti-aliasing on this object, but this one is quite smoother in comparison to this object because anti-aliasing is forced on this object. So you want to uh, work around with individual objects, you can do that as well. So let me just select this as well, the cube, and I'm going to go into render tag, choose composition, and you can uh, also see uh, enable other things. So there's refraction, reflection, so you can turn everything off to actually make this into a plain object just like this as well. So let's say some object is far away and you do not need to process, this, uh, process them out. So you can actually use the composition tag to make them less render heavy. So the scene actually renders out faster. So you can enable the scene by camera. It's kind of like a 
ghost shadow right here you can disable the self shadowing right here so that everything is there but if you untick everything out the home it actually becomes much more boring to look at so you can disable the cast shadows and just like that you can also force anti-aliasing on this one so it becomes smoother when it renders out as well so this is how you can work around with the composition tags and there are other things like object buffer and uh, other things that we're going to see in future lessons. So this is how you can um, uh, control individual objects inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.